Thanks for joining our special live coverage of the policy discussion with citizens. We are waiting for the 20th such meeting to begin. This time, talks will take place in Tolanamdo province. The theme will be future industries and culture in Tolanamdo province. While we wait for President Yoon Sagar's opening remarks, let's look over some of the sessions that took place in the past few weeks. Now, earlier on Monday, President Yoon pledged to turn Gangwon-do province into a global cluster for innovation. Gangwon-do would achieve its so-called triple three project to become a data capital in line with the Yoon's electoral promise, aiming for 30,000 jobs, 3,000 companies, and 300% sales growth in digital industries. Now, over in Daegu City, we'll see a new airport possibly earlier than 2023, as the government has pledged to speed up the construction. On top of that, plans to expand a new express rail line were unveiled to increase connectivity across the city. And with the emergence of a new advanced industries such as robotics and future mobility, mobility hopes are high that Daegu City will take the lead in those new fields. And to Make that happen, the Korean government is believed to be investing 150 million U.S. dollars into robot testing. On top of that, for the first time in 20 years, the government has decided to lift green belt zones or land protected from development in the regions outside the capital area. That's to boost the regional economy. And over in Ulsan City, it's a city well known for research and development. Their president vowed full support for young scientists and researchers so that they can focus on their studies and research without worrying too much about their tuition or living expenses. At least 800,000 Korean won, or that's about 600 US dollars per month, will be made available for master's students and $820 for people doing their PhDs. Now, if we go down to Busan City, there President Yoon pledged to turn the city into a global business hub that's in line with the country's ambitions to narrow regional gaps and spur development across areas outside the capital. The government also pledged to continue ease parental concerns over child care. After school child care services called Nilbom School will be expanded to all elementary schools by the second semester this year. Also decided during past discussions was the streamlining of administrative services by making hundreds of services fully digital over the next three years. Now, also on housing, the UN administration is going to scrap regulations that hinder redevelopment and reconstruction. On top of that, some bold reforms for stock market taxes are on the way to correct the perceived undervaluation of South Korean shares and improve the financial situation of ordinary people. We are still waiting for the 20th round of policy discussions with citizens. Today, talks are taking place over in Cholanamdo province under the theme of future industries and culture in Cholanamdo province. Now, South Korean presidents in the past typically started a new year by receiving briefings from each ministry on their plans for the coming year. But this year, the new format is part of the government's efforts to implement President Yoon's vision for an action-oriented, problem-solving government, not a government that just carries out reviews. Now, after holding 10 rounds of discussions in the capital region, President Yoon has been traveling around the country to hold more talks with citizens on livelihood issues. There have been 19 rounds of policy discussions with citizens since the beginning of the year. That's why we are waiting for the 20th round such meeting, which is about to kick off. Now, while we wait for President Yoon to arrive to deliver his opening remarks, over in Daegu City, President Yoon pledged to speed up construction of a new airport for the city, which is set to open by 2030. That means the city may be able to see the airport before 2030. Now, on top of that, of plans to expand a new express rail line were also revealed to increase connectivity across Daegu City. With the emergence of new advanced industries such as robotics and future mobility, hopes were high that Daegu City will uh, lead those new fields. To make that happen, the Korean government is investing 150 million U.S. dollars into robot testing. 
And also, for the first time in two decades, the government has decided to lift green belt zones. Uh, those are the land protected from development in the regions outside the capital area to boost the regional economy. Now, over in Ulsan City, when President Yoon suk visited, he vowed full support for young scientists and researchers so that they can focus on their studies and research, not worry too much about their tuition living expenses. Now, to relieve their burden, at least 800,000 Korean won or about 600 US dollars per month will be given for those who are doing their masters and also $820 for people doing their PhDs. We go down to Busan City now. President Yoon pledged to turn the city into a global business hub. That's in line with the country's ambitions to narrow regional gaps and spur development across areas outside the capital. It looks like President Yoon suk has entered the room to deliver his remarks. Now, this will be the 20th round of policy discussions with citizens. At this time, it's taking place in Jeollanam-do province under the theme of future industries and culture in Jeollanam-do province. Now, President Yoon has been traveling around the country to hold this type of policy discussions with citizens since the beginning of the year. And today, it's the 20th round of such talks taking place in Jeolla Namdo province. Now, he is shaking hands with uh, people in Jeolla Namdo province, citizens, uh, citizens in Jeolla Namdo province. So again, we are about to listen to President Yoon suk opening remarks ahead of the 20th policy discussions with citizens. We'll come back right afterwards. We will first pledge allegiance. Please face the flag. Salute to the flag. At ease. Please be seated. We would like to begin this 20th edition of policy discussion with the people. The president will deliver his opening remarks. Hello, everyone. It's very good to see you. Today, we are here at Jeonnam, the administrative capital of Jeonnam which is Muan. Looking back at the recent history of Muan, it has been doing a lot in terms of administration and infrastructure, and uh, we can understand how important such policies are. Muan, together with the re relocation of the provincial office, in 2007, we have opened the new Muan Airport, and which was laying the foundation for the regional development. And Muan became the representative city of Jeonnam and has been the hub of the development of the southwestern region of the Republic of Korea. I've been going around the country and holding these sessions in order to find the current issues that are related to the regional needs. And Jeonnam is 
developing very much and we have to select the policies that will be helping the development of the regions and from my presidential campaign days I have been emphasizing that uh, the Hunam should do well in order for the Korea uh, Republic of Korea to do well so I look forward to your valued opinions today General Lee Soon Shin said that during the war in the 15th century, if we do not have Hunam, there would not be a nation that will be standing tall. So therefore, with this spirit, I will do my best in order to develop this Hunam area. First of all, Jeonnam, the living zones would be expanded and the regional economic zone should be formed. And to do so, the most important initiative will be to have the transportation infrastructure. Investing uh, 2.6 trillion won in the Yeongam to Gwangju uh, area, we are going to promote the promotion of superhighway uh, that could be a, a, a one similar to Germany's Autobahn. This was one of the pledges when I visited Gwangju during my campaign days, and I have promised this to the citizens of this region. And the uh, automatic unmanned vehicle when we are using these vehicles more we will use this expressway until the F1 stadium and it was my promise that this would become a test bed zone and through this we will make more tourists from to from Korea and from abroad to visit this area. And this will thereby connecting tourism and industry. And also the Gwangju Gangjin Expressway that is under construction at the moment, uh, as well as the Gangjin Wando Expressway that is uh, going under pre feasibility study. Uh, these will be completed so that the expressway could be finished in order to revitalize tourism and business. And also the Jolla Lines Expressway, uh, actually the velocity is very low and therefore the function is uh, quite low and therefore we're going to invest more than one trillion won so that this could be, uh, bec this could become a more uh, expressway-like line. And the section from Iksan to Yosu, which uh, stretches for 180 kilometers, will dramatically uh, increase the accessibility to the southern coastal region of Jeolla province, and thereby laying the foundation for significant development in tourism and future industries. Together with the infrastructure of transportation, we are going to uh, put more emphasis into the industrial infrastructure uh, and foster future industries. We will first accelerate the automation of Gwangyang port and localization of core equipment through the establishment of a port automation testbed. At the moment, the automation of the ports uh, of the Republic of Korea is lagging behind uh, the world-class standards. So uh, during my campaign days, I have visited the ports. And so through this 700 million, 70 million uh, Korean won port investment to Gwangyang port, we are going to establish an automation testbed for ports and thereby elevating the competitiveness of Gwangyang port to a international level. Yesterday, at Gyeongnam Sacheon area, 
We had the governor of Jeonnam, uh, the governor of Daejeon, and Gyeongnam. And we talked about the space industry cluster triangular system construction project that was launched. So we are going to foster Jeonnam as the space port of Korea. And the aerospace industry is the core industry of future development of Korea. And uh, we have promised to build a exempt of pre-feasibility for this industry, space industry cluster triangular project. And therefore, we have promised to build a private launch site and assembly building in Kohung and establish a launch vehicle technology commercialization center where everything could be conducted at a one stop, uh, in a one stop manner and in order by providing such ample opportunities and space for uh, development in this region, we are going to pursue the development of aerospace, aerospace industry. And we will actively pursue exemption from preliminary feasibility study for the Kuhung Space Launch Vehicle National Industrial Complex. And Kwangyang and Suncheon, which has a great opportunity for secondary battery and content sectors, we are going to designate the opportunity development zones. And in Muan and Hampyeong areas, we will create an AI-based tech, high-tech agriculture and livestock industry convergence district in order to uh, lead the development in such industries. Through this, we will create an agriculture and livestock industry model utilizing AI and big data to attract young people to enter the agriculture sector. And together with such development, we are going to connect the high-tech industries, high-tech areas of the agriculture, and this will be a model to make such agricultural industries uh, to, be, to become a future future leading industry, thereby creating jobs and attracting young people and revitalizing rural areas. And also, uh, dubbed as the black semiconductor, uh, the dried laver will become, we are going to enhance this area and actively support the export of dried laver. And the 78% of the export of dry laver comes from this area in Mokpo, and we are going to invest 12 million Korean won to build a seafood export complex in Mokpo and expand a seafood processing and distribution uh, center. And in Naju, we are also going to invest in order to construct facility to shorten the distribution process so that the people in the region could be compensated appropriately. Uh, and this will thereby help the uh, escalation and development of the uh, processing center. And also, we are going to help the fishermen in Cholanamdo area to uh, recover their fishery resources by using decommissioned fishing boats to remove illegal Chinese fishing gear on the regular basis. This will be upholding our sovereignty in the marine area and uh, to break away from the illegal uh, fishing practices of Chinese boats. The cultural and educational infrastructure will be upgraded to retain and attract the talent needed for industrial development in Jeollanamdo area. So, and for Bozong and Jindo, where they have their own cultural um, specialties, we are going to uh, make and develop uh, these regions in earnest so that they could be a world-class um, 
tourist attraction. The government plans to invest 1.3 trillion won in the Cholanamdo region as a part of Southern Regional Tourism Development Project. And Suncheon City and Jindogun were selected as Korea's cultural cities to play a leading role in this regard. And we promise to develop Suncheon, which is known as a world class garden city, into a center for cultural content industry. And when I visited uh, Suncheon area, uh, where Suncheon City uh, last year when we were opening a Suncheon uh, International Garden Festival, I have been proposed a, a to make a, an animation cluster in this region and we will create an animation cluster and support uh, related public institutions to create, invest in, distribute and promote the content thereby making it a core infrastructure to build a K-Disney in this area. Through such infrastructure and industrial bases, the human resources infrastructure will also be built and the government will support in this regard. And in order to make the competitiveness of human resources in these areas, the government will do our utmost. In February, Seven basic local governments, including Gwangyang, Naju, Mokpo, Muan, Xinan, Yeongam, Gangjin, were selected as pilot areas for special educational development zones, and thereby we are going to support special high schools that will be established in these regions. And new materials industry in Gwangyang, energy in Naju, marine tourism in Mokpo, Muan, Xinan, and future agri biotech in Yeongam and Gangjin, and such regional developments, uh, such regional strategic uh, in, uh, initiatives will uh, be developed and the human resources will be fostered to create a virtuous cycle. From 2003 to 2005, I was stationed in uh, Gwangju, and during my weekends, uh, I had a chance to go around the Honam areas, and I, I feel very close to this region. And when I was leaving Gwangju in 2005, I was chosen as uh, the uh, representative to deliver my uh, farewell. Uh, remarks, and I was not able to finish the, the remarks because I was in tears, uh, and that really speaks to how much I have uh, felt very close uh, to this Honam area. And also, I have, whenever I had the opportunity, I visited Honam, and together with the governor of uh, Jeonnam and Honam areas, uh, we have uh, Kim Young nok governor and also the education head, uh, Mr. Kim, and together with all these people, we are going to discuss uh, various ways, and I look forward to your candid and valued opinions today. Thank you very much. That was our live coverage of President Yoon Suk-yeol's opening remark ahead of the country's 20th policy discussion with citizens. Under the theme of future industries and culture in Jeollanam-do province, we'll bring you more details on the discussion in our upcoming newscast at 2 p.m. Korea time. Thanks for watching.